Well, good afternoon, my friends. I am back. So I teased this the other day. I did a very short video on this. This is a gift from uh, Tiz, 2AHD cat uh, in the Carolinas. A good friend of mine, a uh, real funny guy, good guy. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen his videos where he will show his customs. He does a lot of build-offs with like the three blind mice and uh, several others, Diecast Mafia. Um, and uh, and he's just a good friend. Um, and so uh, I had said he had sent me this. Um, and I will open it. I think I will be disappointed I will open it. Um, but I will put it back in its package, hopefully uh, intact. Uh, because with this type of vehicle, um, I've always said, you know, context is everything. Um, if I just took that car out and put it in a, in a case, it would just look like a wild Hot Wheels with silly graphics. And uh, But now, with the package, you, know, you can see Holden Hot Wheels 2001 here uh, and the story behind this car, uh, this model. So this is very cool. And so with that type of context... Uh, I would prefer to keep the vehicle in the package. Um, much like I do with my Beontes. Um, and I think that this Beonte is a similar... I think it's the same car. It's a Commodore, Holden Commodore. I think it is the VX. Uh, I think the yellow one is the VX. I know this one is the VX. So I will just take this out of the cardboard... Put it there so that we can just give it a peruse when we get this out. So I'm going to slit the tape over here. Um, yes, I know everybody's going to shed a tear, including me. I will try and tape that up later. And as you can see behind me here is my entire Holden collection. Well, yeah, yes, hold on. My entire Holden collection. Minus one, I think. Um, and I have been very fortunate to make some of these purchases and to receive some of these as gifts from friends. Several of these uh, arrived from Australia, some from here in the United States. So let's see. All right. Yeah, I'm not going to cut the wires uh, because I want to display this in here. So this is very cool. This is basically a mainline car. Everybody will recognize those wheels, uh, but it looks like it's got a black windshield because I don't think there's anything in there. But that is very cool. You can see the grill, the headlights. So let's take a look. Yeah. Hot stuff. Hot Wheels did a great job on this for, uh, I don't know what this originally, I honestly don't know what this cost it is. Um, I'm sure he'd tell me, I'm sure I could look, actually he sent me a photo, I could look it up. Um, but this is very sweet. Uh, love it. Now I'm mostly a Ford guy, everybody knows that, but I do, I do appreciate General Motors Holden. Um, so now I've got a, a nice collection of Holdens and Australian Fords. And so eventually, I want to see if I can find... I don't know. I uh, want to see if I can find a Chrysler Valiant from the from uh, Australia uh, in die-cast in 164th French. Um, I 
think this is, I think this is a civilian version. Oh, I could be wrong. Nope. Well, maybe. I mean, obviously the wings are different, but the taillights. Hmm. So, Tiz, thank you very much. This is a much appreciated addition to my um, Holden and Australian car collection. Um, and now these are Holdens, but I just wanted to show. So there, as again, as I say with context, here are a couple of um, Australian cars that I have on card that I will not take off for context. This Ford Falcon taxi. Um, I can see everything I need to through the package. Um, and this uh, Hot Wheels uh, racing circuit Ford Falcon race car, number four of ten. What year is this? 2017. So as I always say, there are some cars that either stay on card or go back in the package for context. And I'm grateful that this went back in so nicely. So Tiz, thank you very much. Um, I will be talking to you soon. Everybody stay warm, stay dry, stay safe, stay healthy. And uh, we'll do this again sometime real soon. Have a great day.